I, it, it's a Valentine's Day thing, right? Because that's in four days. <laughs> Yo. I mean, he's coming over today, right? Can I talk to you for a bit before she gets here? Well, I almost jumped out of my seat when I heard the news at dinner last night. Do you have plans on the 14th? It just so happens that my mom and dad aren't going to be home that night. If not, you should spend the evening at my place. My dad's gonna be on a business trip. My mom's gone out of town for a funeral. Oh, that's you know, a nice, you know, upbeat topic to talk about. Which means we'll have the whole house to ourselves. It's a perfect opportunity, right? I knew karma was gonna have to swing back in my favor at some point. Though it could just be another trap. We could have a nice dinner, too. We could make sure they leave some food money. We could pick up a big plate of sushi or whatever you want. I mean, she's got no reason to refuse, right? Not this time. Plus, I've figured out what she wants me to do. Or rather, I've decided what needs to be done. But I'd still like to wait until it feels natural, to be honest. And I feel like a nice meal and some casual conversation might be the perfect setting to get the ball rolling. Then after that, maybe we'll do a little rolling around ourselves if you catch my drift. Christ. What, am I too late? Did I cut it too close again? Oh shit. Wait, really? After that, maybe she'll invite me into something else if you catch my drift. Dude, stop! Mm. I mean, we both know what the implication is here, right? Stop! Okay, then how about this? Nani. I've d we'll have dinner at your house, but after that you'll come over and spend the night at my place. If she spends the night, then... <laughs> pretty much guaranteed, right? Well, sound good? Oh. Yeah, she knows what... She gets it. Nice! So what do you want to have for dinner? <laughs> Where did you come from? I did not notice her sneaking up on us, because you never notice her sneaking up on you. That's the beauty of Ayamine. Should be more careful. Never underestimate Ayamine, absolutely. When did you get here? Please don't tell me she heard all that. Yes, that's what I'm asking. Dude, sounds like she didn't hear anything. No, 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 she's just feigning ignorance. Okay, now you're just messing with me. For the record, I wasn't asking what you want for dinner. <laughs> I mean, why would I even buy you dinner in the first place? Not like I owe you for something. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> hey, wait. What? Well, yeah, of course. Damn it, Simika, what the heck are you up to? Oh, whatever. I just need to be myself and everything will work itself out. Will it? That's something I kind of forgot about until Kashiwagi called me out for being indecisive yesterday. I went home and spent a long time thinking about it. I realized what I've been doing wrong. The most important thing is to be true to my, be true to yourself. Something I learned from Maya. Hard to believe she's still pop propping me up, even now. Really got to get my act together. Yeah. Oh shit, we're jumping ahead to the 13th now. Okay. The day before. What's gonna happen? Something's gonna happen, right? Simika, what's up? Well, yeah, the light's still on, isn't it? <laughs> hey, I've gotten better about that recently, haven't I? What's with her? She sounds so relieved when I opened the window, but now she seems listless, almost. Huh? Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Which means it's now the 14th. Yeah, 
What? Do you want me to come outside? Freezing enough as it is, just from having the window open. Why can't I wait until morning? Sir? Well, okay, I guess. Well, it's about to go down. What the heck, Simika? If you got something to tell me, just say it here. <sighs> so cold. I think I can feel my blood freezing over. It's fine, just tell me what's up. Huh? A present? For me? Oh. Right, that is today, isn't it? February 14th. Aw. Simika. I see. So that listlessness I sensed earlier was just because she was waiting anxiously for the clock to strike midnight. She didn't actually have anything to talk about. She was just biding her time. That dork. Getting all anxious over a dumb holiday. It's a romantic holiday, and y'all are finally a couple. It's not dumb. How cute is that? It's adorable. Uh, oh, right, thanks. It's a pretty big box and heavier than it looks. She wrapped this herself? She did a really nice job. You can already tell she put a lot more effort into this than the one she's given me in the past. Seriously though, why the huge rush? I get that you wanted to be first, but still. I mean, it's not like we don't see each other first thing in the morning anyway. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, come on. They have gotten better recently. <laughs> right, sorry. I'd really like to be better about that, but I guess I'm just not a morning person. Oh, come on. You know you don't have to worry about that. So does everyone. It's called courtesy chocolate, and there's nothing romantic about it. Hell yeah. Oh, fair enough. So, hey, you mind if I open this now? feel kind of bad tearing it open if you wrapped it all nice, though. Well, if you say so. Whoa. A chocolate cake? Not just a slice, but a whole one? Aww. Oh. you're too fucking sweet. Wow, no wonder the box felt heavy. Damn, dude. I mean, I figured it was probably something chocolate, but a whole cake? That's crazy. It's real went all out. Aww. I need to... Wow. I'm so flustered, I don't even know what to say. No, flustered isn't really the right word. I guess grateful is probably a better way to describe it. I feel like that doesn't quite do it justice either, especially in this context. It's a feeling I'm not really sure how to respond to. That's why I've just been standing here speechless. I've got to admit, I wouldn't have guessed that you knew how to bake stuff like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. This whole time they were doing something for him. Wait, so that's what you guys were up to over the long weekend? Well, that explains everything. I see. So that's what was going on. This must have been what Kashiwagi meant when she said I'd find out soon enough. She was talking about Valentine's Day. How did I not figure that out? I wonder if she thought I was stupid. I wasn't treating this like a relationship, which why Sumika had to step up and do it for me. But then, does that mean she wouldn't have put in all this extra effort if I'd taken the initiative? No, that's not really the point here. She could have still made the exact same cake, just without the added layer of pressure caused by my indecisiveness. Mind if I take a bite? <laughs> nah, I don't need it. Don't worry about it. Don't care. Gotta have a bite of this thing right now. Chomp. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Dude, it's amazing. Hell yeah. Yep, not too sweet, not too rich. You know exactly how I like it, Simica. This thing is absolute perfection. It's got Simica written all over it, too. May not be the most flashy of cakes on the outside, but it's chock full of everything I love on the inside. Hey, come on, I'm not that cruel. Upon closer inspection, it looks like her hands are covered in bandages. It's dark out, so I didn't notice until now. I know they weren't there when we were walking home from school today, which means she must have done everything tonight. She even made a point of choosing skin-colored ones to try to keep them hidden, otherwise she would have used ones with the cute patterns on them like she normally does. It's even possible that she's been slaving away in the kitchen all night. Sumika is genetically predisposed to put things off until the last minute after all. <laughs> doofus. Man, I can't believe it. I really didn't have any idea. Thank you, Sumika. Really. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh yeah? Pretty romantic, huh? Yeah, I'll bet. Her arms feel like ice around my neck, even though even through two layers of clothes. Even her hair feels cold as it brushes over the contours of my palms in the frigid night air. But funnily enough, the only thing I feel right now is something warm and fuzzy deep inside. I can tell that Simika feels it too. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. I feel way more mentally prepared for this now. That's right, I think tomorrow's gonna go just fine. Man, I can't wait. It's gonna feel like we're living together, if only for a day. Yeah, it's pretty cold out here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go hit the hay myself. After a little, eat a little more of this, of course. Really? Why always eat a cup of ramen or something before I go to sleep? <laughs> this thing's so good. I'll probably eat half of it tonight. Yeah, I hear ya. Simika. Thanks again. This means a lot. Yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> He's been an absolute ass this entire story. He needs to fucking apologize. <laughs> oh, and we're still on for tonight, yeah? Cool. Alright then. Good night. Let's go. Let's do this. Sorry, Makoto. Gonna have to reschedule. あ、たけれ。今日バルジャーノ。一応と、やけに急いでたわね。でも、すごくいい感じだったね。ま、そうなってもらわなくちゃ困る。And <laughs> still has no idea what's going on. I love it. <laughs> Oh, this again? <laughs> Take a wild guess. Bzz, time's up. The correct answer was zero. Uh, I was kind of expecting you to be more relieved to hear that, not incredulous. See? I told you I had nothing to worry about. Nope. After all, courtesy chocolate's more of a business tactic than anything. People aren't going to shell out the money when there's no real benefit for them as a transact as transactional as that sounds. And with less than a month left until graduation, why invest in a friendship with someone you might never see again? But whatever, I'm super torn up about it. As much as I love having girls give me chocolate, you have something better this year. Hell yeah, you do, buddy. Why do you say that? 
Wait, I do? Since when? Why not? Need him close so you can rub it in their faces? I didn't actually forget, but we can just pretend I did. I know, I know. But really, you shouldn't feel bad about them trying to be considerate. That kind of defeats the purpose. If they're trying to prop you up, you should let them. It's the best way to show you appreciate the sentiment. Now then, where are we headed? Shopping district? Supermarket? She brought a notepad? Whoa, it's quite the shopping list you got there. I only got a quick peek, but it looked like she had several different lists all crammed together on one page. Oh shit, okay. For real? <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go. S say what? <laughs> She's right. Everyone's gonna be buying stuff for dinner right now. It'll be total pandemonium. Oh, Sumika's ready for this. I told you that. I don't remember your mom being that eccentric. Though she did raise you, so it makes sense that she's a bit of a free spirit. Actually, come to think of it, didn't she totally abandon you one day a couple of months back? Just because she felt like going to see kangaroos and koalas at the zoo? Maybe the apple fell a bit closer to the tree than I originally thought. No offense, Mrs. Kagami. Yeah, I remember. That's why Skiomi sent her parents off on that trip to Australia in the first place, so she could see them in their natural habitat. Though, to be fair, she also offered my folks around the world adventure, they didn't hesitate to leave me behind either. So maybe I'm not one to talk about neglectful parents. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, lay them on me. <laughs> Hell yeah! So in other words, don't be afraid to get aggressive in the name of bargain hunting. Makes sense. Alright, let's show these middle-aged women what our teenage reflexes and perfect eyesight can do. <laughs> let's beat up some housewives. I mean, what? Oh, hey. What are you clinging on to me for? <laughs> oh, for the love of... Alright, whatever. Come on, let's move. Are killing me. Sheesh, war zone my ass. Everyone was totally civil. I knew it sounded too crazy to be true. If buying groceries were actually that dangerous, both our moms would be dead by now. I was totally right. Simica and her mother are like this are like the exact same person. They both get these crazy misconceptions somehow, which then get snowballed way out of proportion. To the point that one of them genuinely believes that plain old shimeji mushrooms are actually top shelf gourmet matsutake. And I bet her mom's the one who gave her that idea in the first place. Well, at any rate, Simika went home to get changed, so I should probably do the same before she gets back. You need help with anything? Alright, if you say so. Sure hope she knows what she's doing. Man, I've got to admit, this is kind of nice. Just sitting here, twiddling my thumbs, knowing that my girlfriend's taking care of everything. How could I possibly focus on a video game at a time like this? The anticipation's got me on cloud nine. <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry. My bad. Yet, I can't help myself. My gaze, keeps, my gaze just keeps wandering back to the kitchen. Ah, come on. I like watching you cook. <laughs> oh, please. We're dating now, aren't we? What's there to blush about? Though, to be honest, I'm feeling a little flustered myself. Couples these stuff like this doesn't come naturally to me at all. I'm trying really hard to break out of my comfort zone here. Gotta fake it till you make it, you know? 
I know I said I would I would stop overthinking things and just be myself from now on, but there's a fine line between that and being complacent. I can't just rest on my laurels and expect Sumika to compensate for my deficiencies. Especially when being myself in the in this context would mean stammering awkwardly until anything vaguely romantic about the moment shrivels up and dies. Kind of defeats the purpose of being in a relationship. You know what? I think I'm going to help you out after all. No, seriously. I couldn't focus on my game at all knowing that you were in here. Come on, please. Hell yeah. Our first time going grocery shopping as a couple. Now our first time cooking together. Eeh. It's like a sneak peek of what our married life could be like several years down the line. Is this what contentment feels like? It's like a warm, cozy sensation. We can definitely get used to this. Alright, so how can I help? Oh my god. Everything looks so good. I love that face. My god. That fucking just pure excited face, happiness, I love it. Oh my god. Yo, know it, it was worth it just to see that face. There's cream stew, braised chicken and veggies, pork cutlet, and a massive plate of yakisoba for some reason. <laughs> Man, it really went all out. And a little side of rice, and any one of these could be a meal all on. Add a little side of rice, and any one of these could be a meal on its own. Hell, even the yakisoba could be a full entree. You mean the other girls? First I've heard of it, though. You did say they all helped with the cake. So this was all part of their little weekend crash course, huh? Makes sense, I guess. They've definitely all got their own brand of culinary prowess, as I learned during the class cook-off. But now that I know that, it's pretty obvious which recipe came from which girl. Oh, steak sauce? Yeah, come to think of it, she definitely tenderized the pork in an odd fashion. She was very particular about which kind of breading we bought at the store. She also kept a close eye on the oil temperature. The combination of these things seems to have lent a unique crispness to the dish. It was certainly cooked with a lot of love. Well, your signature technique's not so secret anymore. Better hope I don't resell it to the highest bidder. <laughs> oh, I'm just joshing you. Besides, I wanted to help out. Hell yeah. Now, without further ado, let's dig in. For starters, let's try the pork cutlet. Munch. Eh, it's got an interesting texture to it. Pretty tasty, Sumika. Now, now, no need to rush. Any connoisseur knows that in order to truly appreciate the flor flor the flavor of a pork cutlet, you have to take a bite before drenching it in sauce as a control variable. Okay, next up. Mmm, the stew is awesome too. You don't say. I'm not picking up on the soy or sour cream, but could those be the secret behind this incredible flavor? No, I'm sure the most important factor is that she didn't use prepackaged stew mix. It takes a lot of time and effort to make something like this from scratch. Did you get this recipe from class rep? Huh? Class rep knows how to bake cakes? I have a hard time picturing that. Wait, was that why you were crying out in pain when she came over on Saturday? Yeah, well, that's a relief. I was pretty certain she was hitting you or something as part of some abusive training regimen. Yeah, dick. Okay, let's change the subject. Well, regardless, let's have a taste, shall we? Yep, that's another winner. And last but not least, the yakisoba. I've seen this before. It's Ayamina's secret recipe. During the class cook-off, she was extremely fussy about using only the most high-class ingredients. That was only possible on Maya's dime, so I'm curious how close she can come to recreating that with plain old store-bought ingredients. 
Way ahead of you. Slurp, slurp. Hmm. Hang on. Man, this tastes like... I don't even describe it. It's like the kind of yakisoba you'd get from the school cafeteria or a festival booth or the convenience store. It's neither incredible nor terrible, and yet there's a certain quality to it that's all but impossible to recreate in your own home. It's like the quintessential yakisoba. That's the best way I can think to describe it. Wow, this tastes nostalgic almost. Yeah, I mean, I know what she's doing. When I was in elementary school, I would always get the curry they made in the cafeteria. I loved it so much. I even begged my mom to make it at, make it for me at home. She even went out of her way to buy an industrial-sized can of the stuff, like they, like they used. But in the end, she just couldn't reproduce the flavor. It tasted completely different. Sure, some might say this yakisoba tastes cheap, but at the end of the day, the fact that it was made in my own kitchen is an impressive feat. This is incredible, Sumika. <laughs> Yes, you're a master chef. I'm in awe of your culinary prowess. Though you did get a lot of help from everyone, so they deserve at least some of the credit. And I'm sure they all knew what they were teaching her for. That all their hard work was ultimately going towards something that would benefit me. They weren't just doing Sumiko a favor. They genuinely want to see our relationship succeed. Even class rep, of all people. In fact, it sounds like she was the biggest contributor of them all. Man, I've really gotta thank those guys for this. Aww. Same. Who knows what'll happen to our friend group after that. I mean, sure, we're all gonna be going to Hakuryo U, so we'll probably still be able to meet up and chat every once in a while. But we're not all gonna be in the same department or anything. From what I hear, most college students are pretty swamped for their first couple of years, and if you want to do an extracurricular activity on top of that, you can say goodbye to all your free time. Not to mention the part-time job you'll need to get started to get started to get to start whittling away at those loans. And on top of that, our university campus is ridiculously spread out, so the chances of us bumping into one another on the way to class are pretty slim. There's just no way to maintain a close circle of friends like this after high school. Man, hard to believe it's already been three years. I went by so fast, especially after May arrived. It's crazy to think that in less than a month we'll be leaving for good. I didn't even really consider that until I talked with Kashiwagi at the arcade the other day. Wait, what am I doing? There's no time to be getting sentimental. Tonight's supposed to be about me and Sumika. It's the first time both of our parents have been out of the town since Maya left. We gotta make the most of it while we can. Forget about everyone else. Okay, now we're messing around. Time to see what this pork cutlet can really do. Uh. Man, it's gonna be so good. Sumika, can you grab the soy sauce for me? Uh, to enjoy your pork cutlet the way God intended, of course. Ah, never mind, I'm just kidding myself. <laughs> Can I?